All right, well, this is definitely the cave to come to for loot. You guys were not uh, exaggerating when you told me in the comments to come here. That is amazing. I can't believe how much stuff we pulled out here. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go after... The artifact of the strong uh, a couple of you guys have told me in the comments that I should run this cave that it's a really good cave for loot um, and so yeah we're gonna give it a try for those of you who may not know the entrance to this cave is kind of hard to find actually uh, but it is at 9.884.3 ish uh, so I knew it was up in this area uh, this area but it took me a little while to actually find it. I didn't, um, I, I, I found it legit. I mean, I knew it was up in, like I said, up, up in, um, here, here's where we are in the map, this area, but I didn't, um, look up the exact coordinates cause I wanted to see if I could find it myself. And after about 10 minutes or so of flying around, I was able to do that. So, um, let's head on in here. I have never been in this cave. I don't know exactly what to expect, but I have been told again, like I said by you guys, that it is a, it's a good cave to run for, for loot in particular. Um, so I have um, some Andrews with me and I got uh, a couple of bats too. Why don't we actually get all of our critters out? So, so we have Vampira and Dracula, so that way we have their, you know, their mate boost. Um, I want you to... Let's see, go... Yeah, you do a a, a, a high follow distance because I'm going to actually be on the Andrews. I don't know if we have Desmodus in here or not. Uh, they scare me the most <laughs> because of the fact that they can, you know, uh, pull you off your mount. But if we're in Andrews, then that doesn't matter. Right, let's have these guys deal with him. the other Andrew out here. So we also have a male and a female Andrew as well. And Circus. Okay, so Circus is um, who we're going to control. And I'm going to probably have to put these on because it is... I know that makes it a little too bright, but it's either too bright or we can't see a damn thing and having it be too bright is better than not being able to see a damn thing. Oh, except for when we get into places like this. <laughs> the, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so let's kill the drones here. So this is obviously another bug cave. All right, um, I don't know what follow distance Andrea is on, so let's, um... Yeah, what I'll, I guess what I'll do is, um... I'll probably just bump the gamma up when I edit. Um, do I have the ability to run the gamma command? I don't know if I do or not. Probably not. Let's see. Oh, I do. Okay. So gamma four. Let's try gamma three. Okay. Yeah, let's go with gamma three and see how that does for us. Okay, so um you are follow distance medium. Yeah, I think you're okay. We'll we'll keep Andreon follow distance medium. Uh, we do have, you know, some uh, advanced rifle rounds with us too, so we can use that, of course, if we need to. Uh, and I think for circus, we're the only thing we're doing is pumping melee. So he's already up to 1,800 melee damage, which is insane. Um, okay, so everybody's following us. Let's head on in. Those guys are fighting up above. Oh, look at this. There's like a, a, vertebra a vertebrae here. That's cool. 
Vertebrate. Backbone? <laughs> yeah, backbone. Okay, we got a bear out there. A bunch of snakes. Two hundred and ten dire bear. That's kind of scary. Here, let's grab this. All right, everybody's got me blocked, so let's send them over there for a second. Okay, more dire bears. At least there isn't poison in this cave, like there wasn't. The swamp cave, man, that was a pain in the ass. You guys go after him. Alright, let's go this way. So if it turns out that there aren't any um, Desmodus in this cave, um, you know, then in future runs we could just bring Desmodus in. But for my first run, I wanted to bring the Andrews in because I just wasn't sure. Man, there's a lot of badness in here, though. Goodness gracious. The nice thing about being in the Desmodus, though, is that, or uh, not the Desmodus, I'm sorry, the Andrusarchus is, we don't have to worry about Arthropleurus. Is that an egg down there? It is. It's a Titan Bow egg. Look at that. Okay, cool. All right, so there was a, we're, we're poisoned here. Um, okay, well, I'm not too worried about that. I don't think that's going to amount to anything important uh, so we got a different passageway here let's go to the right and see what happens I know I'm breaking the rules I'm always supposed to go left but good lord look at all that <laughs> it's so, so much shit in here I can't even see the screen is just yellow text goodness gracious Wow, okay. Oh my goodness. Looks like we got some honey in here. Wow, that's a shit ton of honey. So the thing I'm not sure about is if I try and harvest the beehives can the, you know, I, I know that originally with the beehives um, you know, they could pull you off your mount, the bees could wow can't believe how many hives are in here can we harvest it by biting it? I do have a full suit of ghillie on. Okay. Can we... Uh, oh, we have to... We have to harvest it with a tool, huh? Okay, I know that the hatchet works better on the honey stones. Nope, no bees attacked. Okay, nice. So... The honey's supposed to be really good for healing the sarcus, uh, endosarcus, so let's just feed him the honey. That wasn't really enough to amount to anything, though. But it's good to know, you know, that this is in here. Uh, let's see, we're on, we're still on circus, so let's get his melee up to 1900 now. And uh, we want to keep the titan bow of venom. Maybe a little bit of meat, and definitely the kite in itself. The rest of this stuff, I think we can just dump. Okay. We got some organic polymer from something. I don't know what we got that from. 
Cool. Okay, so yeah. Oh, uh, man. What a... Goodness gracious, there's a lot of honey in here. But the problem with honey is that it... You know, it doesn't stack. For some reason, the stacking mod doesn't stack honey, so... If we grab a bunch, it's just going to take up a bunch of space, and it's going to spoil before I get back home anyway, so... But it's good to know this is here, you know? If you ever needed a bunch of honey. What was that? Oh, some ants or termites or whatever. Titanomira. Okay, so that's what happens when you go right. Up to the honey place. Let's continue on here. Snake. Okay, we're coming into a larger cavern here with lots of light. And we got more dire bears and a, a thylacalia, it looks like, trying to trying to attack us. Alright, let's do this. Level 300 Thylo. Goodness gracious, that's kind of scary. Another dire bear here. Is there anything in this water? Okay, let's send everybody over there. Um... I want to kind of go up on that ledge and see if there's anything up there that we're missing. So let's finish clearing this room and then we'll jump on one of the Desmodus and take a quick look at that. I'm stuck. That virus got some points. She's up to 10,000. She's 2,000. So I think we're just going to do mainly on her. We'll keep the spoiled meat in the blood for now. The rest of this stuff is not important. All right, I just want to fly up here and see if there's anything up here. Oh, there's a rune. Let's grab it. Uh, my understanding is that once we find 100 of these, we get five extra levels, and then when we find all 200, we get another five extra levels. So that's good. Other, other than that, though, I'm not really seeing anything up here. You just stay put for a second. Is there anything in this water? Oh, no, it's just uh, not even deep enough for me to submerge in. It's cold in this cave. I wasn't sure if it's going to be a cold cave or a hot cave. Uh, we do have some Freya. Okay, so I guess we uh, continue on around to the right here. Is that like a dead end up there? No, look at that. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and um, pot up our creatures. There's a nice little safe ledge we can put her on. Unless can she get through here? Oh well, okay. There's that too. Okay, I guess we don't have to leave her behind then.
Yeah, but I think next time I come through here, I'm just going to run it with Desmodus because why not, right? right? It looks like that might be the artifact over there. And I don't even see any enemies in here. Oh, look at this. Nice. Caprasuchus and a pretty nice fur chest piece. I think I already have an ascendant chest piece, but I don't remember what uh, you know what its value is. There's like no enemies in here. That's crazy. Oh, look at this. There's another red. So that means this cave is at least as good as the artifact of the hunter cave, because that has a yellow and a red in it too. Um yeah. A laser attachment and a behemoth door. Alright, that stuff kinda sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. Looks like we got the three island bosses and another yellow crate. Nice. <laughs> I'm print this slingshot. I don't think so. Uh, 165. This isn't as good as the other one, but we'll take it anyway. Okay, so yeah, this. I see what you guys mean. Three caves, or I'm sorry, three loot drops in one cave. Definitely worth doing, and we can, um, you know, we can definitely run this with Desmodus, uh, even just one Desmodus in the future, because we can avoid all the enemies. There's no, no flying enemies that I could tell, other than the bugs. So sweet. Okay, cool. All right, let's head on out of here. Oh. Never mind, if these are going to repop, we'll put them again. Another Mosasaur saddle. Yeah, okay. Kind of lame. Mosasaurs have pretty much, as far as I can tell anyway, have been obsoleted when they added the jellyfish and the eels to the ocean, which is a damn shame. But uh, you certainly can't use them by themselves. They have to be accompanied and it just sucks. But it is what it is, I guess. Is this... This isn't the way we came through, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Wait a minute. Is it? I thought we came through over here. Well, shoot, man. If these things are going to keep spawning... Or are these different ones that I missed? That's pretty nice. Still not as good as our... We have a crossbow that's 300 and something, I think. Still not bad, though. There's a rune down there, too. Sixty out of 200. looking to see if there are any more loot crates. See, I don't know if those loot crates we just looted or were repops or if those were different ones that we didn't see the first time around. No, this one's definitely a repop. But still, I'll take it. Mammoth saddle and some journeyman ghillie leggings. Okay. I mean, again, if these things are just going to keep repopping, uh, they are. <laughs> Jeez, we could just stay here all day and keep looting. Nice Ascendant Shotgun and a Ram Shackle Procoptodon Saddle. Where does this go? No, wait a minute. This is where we came through, isn't it? Or is it? Okay, so that, that passage, other passage, is a different way to go. All right, let's go investigate.
Hmm. Is there anything? There's a skeleton. It sounds like we're like below the, uh, uh, you know, like the one of the big old portal things. Oh, look. Dang, man. This is loot haven for sure. <laughs> Ascendant stone pick. Wow. Okay, we'll take it just because it's such a joke. <laughs> All right, is there anything more in here? Yep, there sure is. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff in here. Two fifty. Two fifty-seven. Okay, I actually have a blueprint for this mastercraft, which is a little bit better than this, but that's still a nice pike and a pretty decent pair of gilly leggings as well uh i wonder if there's anything substantial in this water you guys were not kidding when you said this was the place to come mastercraft megalodon and yeah i got a better blueprint for that still though pretty cool dire bear saddle and a cloth thing. Let's leave the bat there. And I want you to just stay passive because there's no creatures around here. Now, let's get an Andrew out. I just want to see what's under the water. Alright, we need to put... Uh, right here. so bright when you get up in the light. I don't think there's anything down here though. Other than piranha. Here, let's get down on the... What's down through here? Nothing. Okay. And we got a crate back. Look at that. Trike saddle, matchcraft bow. I need I'm gonna have to get a uh, a recycler thingy. Can't remember what they're called, but uh because I, I've my chest that I have all this stuff in at the base is like completely full. Alright. Tell you what. We will go through that passage, but let's go back to the other room first and see if any of the crates have responded, uh, respawned again. Yep, look at that. And you can just stay in here the whole time. Ooh, wow, look at that, you guys. Woo-hoo-wee! That is some really, really good flak armor blueprint. Nice. That's probably the best thing we found today. Um, I've got a pretty decent chest flak piece and um, a really good uh, boots, too, to go with that. So, yeah, that is just fantastic. All right, that's not as good as what we currently have. We have, we have a 300 and well, whatever the damage of this guy is. 340. Ram Shackle Baryonyx, but with really good armor though. It's a pretty decent hide armor. Boots as well. Pretty nice Mastercraft hatchet there. Okay, nothing appears to have respawned in here. Okay. Well, let's head on out through here then and see where this goes. Oh, there's a bad guy in there. Looks like I can't actually get through here on the bat. 
no latch. And I wish we could turn the latching thing off. Let's hop off you for a second. You have been webbed. I want to poke my head through here and just see what's in here. So let's just leave Vampira there. Well, we know there's hostiles in here. Oh, does this go to the B room? Yeah, it looks like it goes out into the bee room. The beehive room, I should say. Unless this is a different beehive room. Okay, here, let's do this. You stay passive for a second. What do you have in your inventory? Yeah, that's right. If we lose that, it's not a big deal. We have some blood, right? Yeah, okay. This reminds me of the ice cave on the island where you had to have a very, very narrow thing you gotta kinda creep through to get into the cave. Dracula decided to take off. These guys are fighting bugs up above. I want to say this is the same room we were in before, but I don't know that for a fact until we go back out and kind of circle around. The bugs are making everybody go crazy. Okay, let's do this. Send everybody to pass and call them here. And have everyone follow Dracula. Okay, let's go through here. Yeah, this is uh this is the same one as from before. Because I remember the the honey room, you know, branched off to the right. All right, well, I'm going to head out and um cuz we got, we got a full load of stuff, man. But uh in the future We'll definitely be coming in here. Uh, just with Desmodus, because we can pretty much just bypass everything and head right into the loot areas. Now, you know what? We can actually teleport out of here, right? We don't have to fly all the way out. Okay. All enemies clear. We've got a Maganura, but... Probably won't attack us. There's a snail or over there. Yeah, let's see if we can just teleport out of here. We'll go of Ardaland Northwest. Yep. Cool, man. All right. So as long as we don't get attacked, we should be able to get on out of here. All right. Well, this is definitely the cave to come to for loot. You guys were not uh, exaggerated when you told me in the comments to come here. That is amazing. I can't believe how much stuff we pulled out here. Uh, so I'll be coming back here in the future just on a, on a Desmodus and hitting all these loot crates for sure. I probably won't show all that on camera unless we find something that's just absolutely amazing. 
but uh, that was great. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, and then I'm not exactly sure what I have planned for the next episode. We continue, of course, to work on the breeding program. Uh, but very soon here, and possibly even in the next episode, we might give Bela a try. Um, and just, you know, I, I don't have a Yudi yet. But what we could do is we could just take our, our current, and I'll probably take my... Um, take my... Uh, my brain just decided to go to take a nap. What are they? Uh, you know, the, the Klondack guys. These guys. These are the guys that we'll take into Therizinosaur. There we go. Okay. That, I know I cheated. I had to look because my brain couldn't remember. Um, I have no explanation for it other than that I'm old. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, the plan is we'll, we'll take our first batch of Theras into the Bela Cave and see how we do. We might, you know, get our ass handed to us or we might kick the shit out of her or somewhere in between those two things. We'll see how it goes. Uh, remember too, though, that I'll, the the first batch of theras we're going to take in there were our, you know, are not our best theras. Those are the ones really before we we started getting mutations. But, but they might do just fine, or they might not, you know. So there's only one way to find out. And I'm not, I don't yet have a Yudi. I need to go back to, uh, you know, Yont Yontenheim, Jotunheim. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, uh, Jotunheim. And see if we can find ourselves a UD. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I, I, the thing to keep in mind, too, I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not. If, you, if you've never done breeding in ARC, or at least not breeding to the extent that I'm doing it, it takes a lot of time. I mean, I spend hours, literally hours, of off-camera time managing this breeding, and it's a, it's a lot. I, I do it because I enjoy it. It's fun. It's a part of the game, but it takes a lot of work, you know, and a lot of time uh, to do all this. But, you know, if you keep at it, the end result is you get some pretty powerful dinos and, and pretty colorful looking dinos, too, as evidenced by our purple winged um, Quetzal over there. So anyway, all right, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.